Hey everyone, I'm Sparky and welcome to Sparky's Grow Room. On this episode, I'm gonna go through the process of setting up a blue mat system uh, for a 100 gallon living soil pot. really wanted to go the route of using the blue mat system because essentially it is a automated non-powered meaning no no electricity required automatic system that uh, keeps a nice even level of moisture in your bed and that helps maximize the growth of your plants so this is the first part uh, going through the basics of getting that set up so uh, it's composed of uh, essentially a, a few main parts one is the red supply line that you can see coming in from the right hand bottom right hand corner of your screen and it runs the circumference of the pot there you also have the white tape which is not yet uh, inflated with with uh, any water pressure in it at all um, it's just set up dry to begin with that is essentially a drip tape which will very gradually emit water that weeps down into the soil um, and then you also have have uh, two carrots um, and the carrots are really kind of like at the heart of this um, and mine are already installed but it's a combination of a valve and uh, what appears to be a, a clay almost terracotta like cone which goes inserted into the soil and the whole unit is filled up with water um, and there is a really large one I believe it's a nine inch uh, which is right here, uh, close to the center of the pot, um, just to the front of center. And then there's a shorter five inch one installed right back here. Um, and everything is configured in such a way that there's easy access to the doors. So for example, on the right hand side, you can see that there is a T where the supply line comes in of water from my outside reservoir. Um, and, and that and the shorter uh, carrot easy access to the right hand door over here on the left hand side easy access to the left door is a bleeding valve so that you can uh, bleed off any air or grit or anything that might get into the system and then of course right up front and center uh, you have easy access to the deep carrots um, and also where it connects with that red supply line that goes all the way around. So an easy enough system to set up by first running um, the red supply line, uh, essentially it's a manifold of sorts. Now that white tape is the uh, the kind of like a Tyvek like material um, and uh, it essentially will gradually re weep water down into the soil whenever the two carrots at two different depths call for uh, the amount of water, uh, essentially when the soil dries out, it'll call for water and a valve will open up um, at the top of the carrot, allowing water to flood into that white uh, drip tape um, and keep the soil nice and moist. Uh, now this dark spot that you're looking at right here in the middle, this is where I had a seedling in a pot sitting on top uh, of the uh, soil surface there right in the middle and I've moved it so we can take a look at what's going on here. This is the blue mat carrot that's installed being fed with water coming in from a gravity system right here. The valve is open because the carrot is calling for water and that water is being fed right down here into the white blue soak tape. And as you can see, that uh, blue soak tape is inflated with water pressure and it will gradually weep down into the soil and keep a nice even moisture content whenever those carrots call for water. What feeds this? It's not hooked up to a pressurized system, although you can do that with pressure regulators. Essentially, I've got a 12 gallon uh, bucket up on a shelf that is five feet above the height of my soil. And that provides enough head pressure just filled with water to uh, by gravity feed this whole system. It really is that easy. Now, my next step will be to set up the uh, reservoir and to purge the system and dial in those carrots. <laughs> 